Hey guys, it's Geeks of Shack and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to be learning how to create a top bar, which is a navigation in Foundation Zer. Right, now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the text editor. Now, in the previous video, I really forgot something that we should really do, and this is really silly. I forgot to add the footer.php into the index page. So what you could do is you could copy this line at the top, paste it at the bottom, change header to footer. So now we're calling out the JavaScript files into the index.php. Right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create another file called nav.php. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the terminal I really want you guys to get used to the terminal because little do you know you're actually SSHing and you know when it's time for you to get your own dedicated server you'll just fly through it with flying colors right so this vim nav.php escape on WQ which is right quick so now if we go here we have nav.php now the first thing we're gonna do is copy this line put nav.php here All right so how we need to start this off is with a nav class top bar and put data hyphen top bar here UL class title area li class name now this is where our logo is going to go so we need to put an h1 tag I know it's very weird I thought the same and put a logo here we could put an image where I've written logo in this case don't need one li class now what we're doing here are making it responsive on a mobile device let's put a href tag Ooh, what happened there now by default foundation makes gives you a navigate uh, a menu icon and it places it in the span tag so i'm going to put menu here anyway And then we're going to put a section class top hyphen bar section. You will class right because we want our pages to be on the right hand side of the navigation bar because the logo is on the left. Put a li, an ahref tag. Put a hashtag in between them, just write pages. Yeah. And now we should have our foundation top bar. What? What the hell happened there? from there yeah <laughs> so silly of me isn't it but here we go you've got our responsive navigation bar isn't it excellent wow it's so wicked so wicked right so what about if we want to have a drop down I can make another drop down what about if we wanted to have pages here on the left as well? Hmm. Okay, so what we would do in this case, say we want to have a drop down on the right hand side. What we do is make a li class 
has hyphen drop down. And we're gonna put the page here. So let's put a hashtag here and we're gonna put drop down. Close that line. Space. Oh wow. From UA class, your class. Drop down. And now we can just put our drop down, drop down. Let's add a few more. Excellent. So now we have our drop down here. Marvelous, isn't it? And do you know what's really cool? Is if we go to our mobile device, we go here, we can see our drop down here. And look. Awesome. Awesome. Isn't it? Right. So like I said, what about if we want to have content on the right hand side? So we know already the UL class right, UL tag ends here. We could just put a UL class left. Li. Ooh, what happened there? Let's put a hello. And just do it free there. And refresh the page. So now we've got pages on the left and we have pages on the right. We have our marvelous drop down. It's excellent, isn't it? Major on navigation bar. Hmm. So yeah, you guys have learned how to make a cool navigation bar. And most importantly, from our previous tutorial, you would have learned how to lay your website into columns. Please practice on the columns is really important. And the more you do, you'll become a better designer. Better web designer. So in the next tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to lay content out on the page and show and hide them for different devices. And we'll also be planning on styling the navigation bar. You know when you just you try so hard to speak well. Just blood clot sign up. No. <laughs> I'm playing with you guys. Anyway, thank you very much. This is Geeks to Shack. And look out for our next tutorial coming out tomorrow.